Welcome to today's video, where we're going to talk about something that makes Porsche cars really special, the PDK transmission. Have you ever wondered why a Porsche can shift gears faster than you can blink? Or why your friend's 911 keeps beating you off the line even though your car has more horsepower? The secret might just be those three magic letters, PDK. The torque converter in this transmission isn't like the ones you usually see. Two wet multi-plate clutches are used instead by PDK. One clutch takes care of backward and odd gears, and the other takes care of even gears. Imagine having two different transmissions in one box that work together like a tag team that is perfectly timed. One clutch is putting the car into gear and turning it over, and the other is already getting ready for the next speed. That's pretty smart, right? Have you ever rubbed your stomach and patted your head at the same time? Ask yourself that question. It's hard, but PDK does something even more complicated. It perfectly coordinates two different clutches hundreds of times while you drive, and it never fails. You can see how smart this system is when you're moving. When you change gears in a regular manual car, there's a moment when the wheels don't have any power. We've all had that moment when we're changing gears and the car seems to hesitate. The torque converter in a regular automatic smooths out this change, but it still adds a little delay. With PDK, power flow is almost never interrupted. You can handle it like a manual and use it like an automatic at the same time. It's better than both of them. Let's go back in time now. What do you think the source of this great technology was? Though engineers first thought of dual clutch in 1964, it wasn't until the early 1980s that the electronics were good enough to handle them. Can you picture using technology from the 1960s to try to organize two clutches? Being in oven mitts and trying to do brain surgery would not work. In fact, the idea came from a French engineer named Adolphe Cagrès, who created a simple dual-clutch setup in 1939. Yes, that was the year World War II started. But these early ideas wouldn't have worked consistently in the real world without computers and sensors today. To control the timing of two clutches working together, you needed very accurate electronic control, which wasn't available until many years later. Porsche's big break came in racing, which is also where many of their best ideas come from. Stay in your seats for this one. The first 956 and 962 race cars with PDK transmissions came out in 1986. They won the Monza race and helped Porsche win back-to-back -back 24 Hours of Le Mans titles in 1986 and 1987. Picture this, Porsche drivers could keep both hands on the wheel while other cars changed gears. When you're going 150 miles per hour around turns, that's a pretty big plus. In a surprising turn of events, it took more than 20 years of work to make PDK work in regular cars. 20 years! We went from cell phones the size of bricks to smartphones around the same time. However, it took Porsche 20 years to get PDK just right for everyday driving. You could finally get it on the 2009 Porsche 911 model 997. This made the race-proven shifting system available to regular people. It was crazy to think that the same technology that won Le Mans could now be found in a car you could take to the store. So how does PDK work in real life? So let's break it down in simple terms. Trust me, what's going on inside that transmission is not simple at all. At its core, PDK is basically two manual gearboxes joined together. Each has its own wet, hydraulically driven clutch pack that controls it. Does that sound hard? It's like having two people ready to give you exactly what you need before you even ask for it. The two gearboxes are placed concentrically, which means that one fits inside the other and shares the same housing while still working on its own. In later cars, one gearbox controls gears 1, 3, 5, 7, and reverse, while the other controls gears 2, 4, 6, and 8. You thought it was hard to organize your sock box. When one gear is engaged, the other shaft already has the next gear chosen. In this case, if you're speeding up in first gear, second gear is already chosen on the second shaft and is just waiting for the right time. When it's time to shift, the first clutch releases first gear at the same time that the second clutch releases second gear. 
In the newest 911 Type 992, this means that shifting gears takes as little as 0.1 seconds. How quick is that? You can't move fast enough. It really does take about 0.3 seconds to blink. A Porsche with PDK has already changed gears and is speeding off by the time your eyelids have closed and opened again. Transmission oil bathes the clutches, keeping them cool and extending their life. Remember what you get when you quickly rub your hands together? Do you agree that they get hot? When you change gears, the clutch does the same thing, but on a much bigger scale. PDK's wet design moves cool fluid through the clutch packs, which keeps them from getting too hot, which can happen with dry clutches in heavy traffic or on the racetrack. Because of how well this design works, Porsche seals the clutches for life, so you don't have to do any normal maintenance on them. Those of you who have owned a manual car and had to pay for a new clutch should raise your hand. It's not cheap, is it? PDK buyers, on the other hand, don't have that issue. You will not believe this, but the electronic control unit of the PDK system is what makes it work. It uses a network of sensors to keep an eye on everything, from wheel speed to throttle position to turning angle. Over time, it even learns how to drive and changes the way it shifts gears to match. Having a transmission that gets to know you well is like that. Cool or creepy, you make the choice. There are many great things about PDK that set it apart from other types of communication. First, it has very fast shift speeds. When the car is loaded, it changes gears in less than 0.1 seconds, which is much faster than any manual transmission. That's like a race between you and a Porsche with PDK to see who could change gears faster you'd always lose, even if you were a professional race car driver. It's not even close. Second, you get torque that doesn't stop. This means that power stays connected even when you change gears, which makes acceleration better and the way the car moves better. This means faster times from 0 to 60 miles per hour in speed tests and faster lap times on the track. If you want to stand out at the next race day, PDK could be your secret tool. Third, the paddle shifters give you full control as a driver when you want them to. There is also a smooth automatic mode for everyday driving. It's like having two cars in one, a fast race car for the weekend and a smooth commuter car during the week. You can change from one to the other with the flip of a switch or the pull of a paddle. Fourth, PDK makes fuel use better. PDK-equipped 718 Caymans use about 7.7 .7 liters of gas per 100 kilometers, while six-speed manuals use 8.2 liters per 100 kilometers. This is a 6% increase. We all ask ourselves, who buys a Porsche to save gas? That's true. Still, fewer gas stops should mean more time to drive, right? Finally, if you choose to add the Sport Chrono package, you can use the electronic launch control function to get off the line the fastest and most consistently. When launched control is turned on, it keeps the engine at the right RPM and controls the clutch to get the best grip without spinning the wheels. Ever try to do a perfect jump in a car that you drive yourself? It is absolutely impossible. To use PDK launch control, all you have to do is press a button, hold down the brake, floor the gas, and then let go of the brake. Boom! As fast as a supercar from 10 years ago would have been proud of how fast you can reach 60 miles per hour. As speed and efficiency needs have changed over time, PDK has changed too. The first PDK that Porsche made was a 7-speed unit. The ratios between gears 1 through 6 were chosen to keep the engine in its power band and make them ideal for fast driving. The tall 7th gear was like an overdrive that slowed down the engine on the highway to save gas. It's like having extra stuff that you only use to save money. That's smart, right? There's more though. The 8-speed PDK2, which Porsche released in 2018, was a big step forward in the technology. This later model has an even wider ratio spread, with an 11.2 to 1 spread from first gear at 5.966 to eighth gear at 0.534. What does that mean in English? This means that first gear is very short for very fast acceleration, and eighth gear is very tall for smooth, efficient highway driving. It can also handle up to 750 newton meters of torque, which makes it great for Panamera models that are turbocharged or hybrid. 
750 newton meters is equal to how much? That's about 553 pound-feet of force, which is strong enough to lift a small house off its base. Really cool stuff. In the 8-speed PDK-2, the interior parts were also made better. It can handle more power while still being reliable thanks to stronger gears, bearings, and cooling systems. It's like the difference between a normal backpack and one made for climbing Mount Everest. They may look the same, but one is made to handle much tougher circumstances. PDK is now an important part of almost every Porsche model, making it a true flagship of the company. There are 7-speed and 8-speed PDK choices for the 911 model 992 in Carrera, Turbo, and GT trims. Even the track Focus GT3, which used to only come with manual transmission for purists, now has PDK because it's so much better for speed that it can't be ignored. PDK is better when lap times are important, even for people who really like manual transmissions. All versions of the 718 Boxster and Cayman Model 982 come with a 7-speed PDK transmission. This lets these smaller sports cars perform as well as much more powerful cars. It's the same as giving David an extra edge over Goliath. The bigger Panamera models have V6 or V8 engines and 7 or 8-speed PDK transmissions. The hybrid cars also use PDK, which shows how flexible the technology has become. It is even smoother in the hybrid Panameras because they use the electric motor to make up for lost power during shifts. This gives crossovers the agility of sports cars. I bet you didn't think an SUV would shift like a race car, did you? This shocking fact shows that PDK is very popular with buyers. 75% of 911 buyers choose it over the manual gear. They bought three out of every four times. This high take rate shows that Porsche was right to put a lot of money into the technology. It's still the main shifting system in versions designed for the track, like the 911 GT3, where every millisecond is important. Even though many of them grew up racing with manual gears, most professional Porsche racers now only use PDK because it consistently gives them better performance. PDK blends race-level shift speed with impressive reliability, which is why it was made for racing in the first place. Its sealed, wet clutches are made to last the whole life of the gearbox, so you won't have to replace them. PDK is still important for Porsche as it moves toward electric cars. It's the only transmission used in Porsche hybrids. And the two-speed transmission in the all-electric Taycan was made possible by what Porsche learned while making PDK. PDK has an effect on more than just Porsche. Many other companies made their own dual-clutch transmissions after seeing how well the first one worked. The DSG from Volkswagen Group, the F1 DCT from Ferrari, and the DCT from BMW all work in the same way. But a lot of fans think Porsche's version is still the best because it has the best mix of speed, smoothness, and dependability. Some people say that only one type of smartphone is the best, even though there are many of them. Get behind the wheel of a Porsche with PDK if you ever get the chance to experience this amazing mix of speed, accuracy, and versatility. Every car lover should at least try it once to see how smoothly it shifts, while keeping you in touch with the road. You might think about what a transfer is different after reading this. So what do you think? Are you a PDK convert or still holding out for that manual gearbox?